thank you for joining Wars of the Roses. And this is Dionysian Mysteries from the Encyclopedia of Freemasonry by Albert G. Mackey. Dionysian Mysteries. These mysteries were celebrated throughout Greece and Asia Minor, but principally at Athens, where the years were numbered by them. They were instituted in the honor of Bacchus, or as the Greeks called him, Dionysius, and were introduced into Greece from Egypt. In these mysteries, the murder of Dionysius by the Titans was commemorated, in which legend he is evidently identified with the Egyptian Osiris, who was slain by his brother Typhon. The aspirant, in his ceremonies through which he passed, represented the murder of the god and his restoration to life, which, says the Baron de Saki, were the subject of allegorical explanations altogether analogous to those which were given to the rape of Proserpine and the murder of Osiris. The commencement of the mysteries was signalized by the consecration of an egg, an allusion to the mundane egg from which all things were supposed to have sprung, the candidate having been first purified by water and crowned with a mithril branch, was introduced into the vestibule and there clothed in the sacred habiliments. He was then delivered to the conductor, who, after the mystic warning, translated, Depart hence, all ye profane, exhorted the candidate to exert all his fortitude and courage in the dangers and trials through which he was about to pass. He was then led through a series of dark caverns, a part of the ceremonies which Stobius calls a rude and fearful march through night and darkness. During this passage, he was terrified by the howling of wild beasts and other fearful noises, artificial thunder, reverberated through the subterranean apartments, and transient flashes of lightning revealed monstrous apparitions to his sight. In this state of darkness and terror, he was kept for three days and nights, after which he commenced the aphemism or mystical death of Bacchus. He was now placed on the pathos or couch, that is, he was confined in a solitary cell, where he could reflect seriously on the nature of the undertaking, in which he was engaged. During this time, he was alarmed with the sudden crash of waters, which was intended to represent the deluge. Typhon, searching for Osiris, or Dionysius, for they are here identical, discovered the ark in which he had been secreted, and, tearing it violently asunder, scattered the limbs of his victim upon the waters. The aspirant, now heard the lamentations which were instituted for the death of the god, then commenced with the search for Rhea for the remains of Dionysius. The apartments were filled with shrieks and groans. The initiated mingled with their howlings of despair the frantic dances of the Corbantes. Everything was a scene of distraction until, at a signal from the Hierophant, the whole drama changed. The morning was turned to joy, the mangled body was found, and the aspirant was released from his confinement, and the shouts of, translated, they have found it, let us rejoice together. The candidate was now made to descend into the infernal regions, where he beheld the torments of the wicked and the rewards of the virtuous. It was now that he received the lecture explanatory of the rites, and was invested with the tokens which served the initiated as a means of recognition. He then underwent a lustration, after which he was introduced into the holy place, where he received the name of Epot, and was fully instructed in the doctrine of the mysteries, which consisted in a belief in the existence of one God and a future state of rewards and punishments. These doctrines were inculcated by a variety of significant symbols. After the performance of these ceremonies, the aspirant was dismissed, and the rites concluded with the pronunciation of the mystical words. Parampax St. Croix says that the murder of Dionysius by the Titans was only an allegory of the physical revolutions of the world, but these were in part in the ancient initiations, significant of the changes of life and death and resurrection. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. 
And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Roses. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.